In this video, we are going to be creating a split screen effect using Premiere Pro. And basically, I will show you two ways that you can achieve this effect. And the second one is my favorite, so stay tuned for that. In some movies, the split screen effect is used and you can implement these very split screens in your YouTube videos or any project that you're working with. So without much further ado, let's dive into Premiere Pro. So the first method I'll be showing you today is using the crop effect. So in Premiere Pro, these are the two clips I'll be working with and I'll stack these clips together. And to use the crop effect, all I need to do is to go to the effects panel and search crop and I'll drag and drop the effect onto the clip. Under the effects control, I'll find the crop effect here. And the crop effect has some other properties like the left, the right, the bottom and the top, which defines the area that will be cropped, depending on the percentage that you insert. And the crop effect also has the edge property. Say for example, you set the left property to 50%. You will see that the top clip has been cropped out 50% to the right. And same thing if I change the bottom property to 50%. Same thing, but it now crops it from the bottom. So what if you don't want to like work with this hatch line? All you need to do is just to increase the amount of feather that you want. But for this tutorial, I don't want the edge feather. So I'm going to remove them. What I want is a contrast line dividing the two clips and to achieve that i'll click on my shape tool and i'll draw a line and you can change the color of this line here by going to the essential graphics and clicking on the shape tool here and you'll find it here and if you can't find the essential graphics all you need to do is go to the window and then you click on the essential graphics and you can find it here or somewhere around your screen now i'm going to position this somewhere around here and drag this in to match up the duration of the clip let's talk about doing some extra things to the crop effect i'll scale this up to about let's say 150 set a rotation of about 45 degrees you see that i've achieved something else i don't need this line here so i can remove the line you can also reposition this to any angle that you want. Finally, I'll be talking about animating this crop effect because sometimes you don't want the crop effect at the beginning of the clip. So you can achieve that by animating the property here. And one thing you should have in mind is that anywhere that you see a stopwatch icon in the property, it means you can animate that property in Premiere Pro. With this bottom property, I'll set the first keyframe here, move some few frames ahead, and I'll set the second keyframe now back to the first keyframe i'm just going to click on this reset parameters to set the value to zero now when i play this you will see how it animates that's it about the crop effect what you have in mind is that first you need to add in the crop effect by going to the effects panel and search the crop drag and drop it onto the clip secondly you should be familiar with the properties that is the left top right and bottom and finally you should know that you can use either the edge feather to blend in the two clips together or you can use a contrast line to divide the two clips now the next effect i'll be showing you to create a split screen is the radial wipe and to achieve that i'll be using these other three clips i'm going to stack these clips like i did for the crop effect I'll go to the effects panel again, but this time around, I'll be searching the radial wipe, drag and drop it onto the clip. So with this radial wipe, it's somehow similar to the crop effect, but it doesn't have all the properties like the left, right, top, and bottom, but you can achieve that in a different way. Under the effects control, you'll find the radial wipe, and it has some other properties. The transition completion, the start angle, the wipe center, the wipe, and the fader. With this transition completion, it gives you the amount that you want to crop out of the clip. If you set this to 50%, cut it out at 50%. But one thing you notice here is that it has cut out 50% from the right section. And this is the right section here that has cut it out. What if you want to cut it 50% from the left? You can achieve that by changing the value of the start angle. To cut it out 50% from the left, I'll set the start angle to 180% or 180 degrees because angles work with degrees not percentages and you see that it has cut out 50 percent from the left and same thing if i want to cut out 50 percent from the bottom i'll just change this angle to 90. next i'll be talking about this wipe center this wipe center what it does is that it just like increases the amount that it has been cropped out from so if, for example if i increase this it will increase this following the x-axis and let's say for example let me reset this back let me change the start angle to about let's say 90 and then i increase this other part here it will now increase this following the y the following the y axis so i'm going to reset this 
and I'll change this back to zero. And same thing, you can increase this property here of the feather to blend it in. And you can also animate the start angle or the transition completion. Like I earlier said, anything that you see the stopwatch icon there in Premiere Pro, it means you can animate it. Now, the reason why I said this is my favorite compared to the crop effect is that, say for example, I want to rotate this. Basically, in the crop effect, I'll need to go up in the motion uh, effect, then I'll rotate it, increase the scale, and do some other kind of things. But here, it's really easy. All I need to do is like changing the start angle to somewhere around here, and that's it. I already have the effect the right one. I want to have a split screen of three clips. What I'm going to first of all do is that I will click on this razor wipe here, hit Command C, or Control C if you're on the Windows to copy the effect. Place the third clip somewhere around here, and I'm just going to press Command V or Control V to paste it. So this is the top clip here. So I'm going to move this down a little somewhere around here. Then I'll click on this. Let's say this one here in the middle, and I increase this. And that's how you can create a split screen using three different video clips in Premiere Pro. And that's it for today's video. Hope you found this video useful and interesting. To implement what you've learned in this video in your next project, and leave a feedback in the comment section below. And I'll be there to read your comment. Subscribe so you won't miss the next video from me. And like the video to support the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, keep editing.